We all know that friendly eye contact in the Western cultures is a way to show confidence, respect to the person that you're having a conversation with, and that you really do want to connect with them. However, is it also possible to show confidence, show respect for the other person, and maintain that connection even when you break eye contact? Yes, you can, and I'm gonna talk about why it is necessary and how to do it with confidence. My name is Antoinette Griffin, and my channel is all about confidence, communication, and charisma from an introvert's perspective. Have you ever been in a conversation with someone who their eye contact is intense? They're not breaking eye contact at all, and it can feel very overwhelming. In that situation, when they're never breaking eye contact, either when they're listening or when they're talking, it can feel like this bright light and it can make you feel really uncomfortable. And then it almost becomes this stare off because you're thinking, well, I don't wanna break eye contact with them, but you're feeling super uncomfortable. And what in the world can you do? The general rule is you wanna make eye contact when you're speaking approximately 50% of the time. Now, you don't want to sit there and try to measure, okay, what is 50% of the time, but just know that when you're talking, it is certainly normal and much more comfortable for the other person if periodically you do look away. And when you're listening, that percentage goes to 70%. So even when you're listening, don't feel like you're breaking concentration or connection if you periodically look away. It is very normal to do that. In fact, scientists at Kyoto University in Japan did a study and they found that it's more difficult for people to process information while they're maintaining intense eye contact. And so therefore, it helps us to actually process information when we look away. One thing that you can do is you can actually break eye contact without the other person even realizing it, but it doesn't appear as intense because even though they have the feeling that you're maintaining eye contact with them, it's not that intense staring into their eyes. And so when you wanna do this, just break eye contact by looking at the upper triangle. So you're looking at the upper bridge of my nose anywhere between here and my forehead. And what that does is it maintains eye contact, but it's not as intense or uncomfortable for the other person. And when you do look away, which you'll want to do periodically, you want to either look up or look to the side and you want to do that slowly. Say for instance, you've asked me a question and I feel like it's time for me to break eye contact. It's a little bit too intense or I'm really trying to think of my answer and it's difficult to think of that while I'm maintaining eye contact. So I can look up, like I'm thinking of my answer, I can look at the side and then come up with my answer. It's a very natural gesture. The reason why you don't wanna look down is it's a sign of submission and it's a sign of somebody who is lacking in confidence. So you rarely want to look down whenever you are breaking eye contact, unless there's something in front of you, such as notes or something like that that you wanna refer to. However, in a video call conversation, I highly recommend that you keep your notes off to the side so that you're not looking down because then your head goes down. Now, another way to break eye contact by looking away, but it kind of seems natural, and that is I like to have a prop nearby, either a glass of water or a cup of coffee. So when I feel like it's time for me to look away or I just need a break from that eye contact, I'll look over at my prop, my glass of water, look back at the person. I'm still listening but I'm taking these breaks. It makes, it looks very natural. Now a prop that you don't want to use is your watch or your cell phone. You do not want to look at your watch or look at your phone during conversation with someone because that shows that you are distracted and you're not giving them your full attention. 
Now, if you're liking this video, I hope that you will press like and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. And the thing to remember is eye contact on video is a lot less intense than eye contact in person. There's something about it, we're not feeling it three-dimensionally, we're just feeling it in one dimension. So therefore, you wanna keep eye contact much longer on a video screen than you will in person. Do you have some creative ways of breaking eye contact while maintaining confidence in connection? If you do, please share those in the comments. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.